What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Reverse DL channel. So what do we have today? We're going to be installing multiple ISOs in ARC. We're going to fix corrupt save data from emulators. And we're going to back up our emulator information to the PC. So what do we need? We will need a PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.63 with ARC installed. Remember to check one of my previous videos. It's really easy to install. We will need QCMA. The link will be in the description. Also, we will need the save data file. Check the description and my Twitter for the files. Remember to include all your ISO, CSO files before the transfer or the PSP games. Remember to rename it all caps eight characters. As for the installation, we're going to download the example save data file and we're going to refresh QCMA's database. We're going to transfer the save data using Content Manager to the PlayStation Vita. And we're going to back up our emulator files to the PC. So wait for additional tips and the example. Links will be in the description. Remember to check my Twitter, guys. Enjoy, gamers. All right, so I have created some Save data files for you guys. I know that when I was transferring information on my PlayStation Vita, it showed as corrupted file. I really didn't like that, so I just took the time to create this for you guys. You guys can transfer it and are able to distinguish which save data file pertains to what emulator. So now I'm going to go to my computer, Documents, PS Vita, P Save Data. I'm going to choose my profile 3.63 as you can see I don't have anything right here so I'm going to use the PSP ISO game transfer so this this save data is going to help me transfer multiple ISO CSOs so now I'm going to open my special emulator and ISO folder and I'm going to select three for now so you can select multiple but just for this example I'm just going to do three at the same time just remember eight characters all capitals before we transfer and or copy so that has worked for me so just do it just in case so now that I have transferred and or copied my ISO CSOs to my save data folder, I am ready to transfer to the PlayStation Vita. Now remember to refresh the QCMA's database. As always, I do it twice. So now I'm just going to show you my arc that I don't have those games. So as you can see, it searches for ISOs. So the cool thing about ARC, it doesn't matter where you have the ISOs, it just searches for them. So now I'm going to show you also my save data information. So as you can see, I am able, if I want to delete an emulator, I can see all my save data files. You can see I have a corrupt file because that's my Resident Evil 3. I have not fixed that one but I was mainly focused for those emulators. Maybe you go to a friend's house and want to copy one to QCMA. Hey, that'd be cool. So now we're going to copy those ISOs or that save data. We're going to save data, PSP other. As you can see, PS Vita, ISO, Gamer Rebirth. So we're going to copy 702 megabytes. But yes, we're going to copy from the PC to the PlayStation Vita. All right guys, so let's see if it works. Before we check if it works, I wanna show you guys my system information. So if some people think that I'm not on 3.63, there you have it. So now that we got that squared away, let's go ahead and launch our arc that lovely bubble 
remember to check my previous videos if you don't know how to install it it's really simple guys so now we're gonna check our PSP games as you can see I copied twice Metal Slug now I have that I didn't have that game previously need for speed so now we're gonna press select I want to show you guys in the, under the save data that there we have our PSP ISO gamer so now there we have our three ISOs including the Street Fighter notice they're all in capital letters it's pretty cool so you can put as many as you want in there I want to show you also that the ISO folder has other ISO CSOs so if you like to transfer it in there it's fine but you save time just by putting it on the save data so you don't have to recopy and transfer it again it's basically doing double the work so also you can delete the ISOs that you duplicate or you don't like and for some settings remember to have it as scan safe CS scan VHBL yes scan games no scan categories yes so now pretty cool thing show picks yes I had it as no so you just change it as yes you can see the whole image for that game which is pretty cool gives you a little bit better of a good in interface and you can see that background for the e-boots if it has background it gives you a little bit more information so in this moment just showing off a bit I've been working with um, e-boots modifying them putting custom themes all right guys so now we're going to launch content manager we're going to back up one of our emulators now that we can distinguish which emulator pertains to what state data so we go from the PlayStation Vita to the PC for this example we're going to use Nestor J and then we're going to copy So now we go back to our PC to double check if the emulator was transferred or the save data. We go to our save data. And there you can see Nintendo has all the files, Nestor J, all the ROMs. So it's pretty cool, guys. Now you can back up all that information. So if it helped, remember to hit like, subscribe. As always, Game and Rebirth out.